Well, today I'm going to do something that I did as an experiment a few years ago, but not as a total commitment. This year it's a total commitment. By that I mean I'm planting all my onions in containers, in wicking tubs. When I did this two or three years ago, they came out great. Uh, I pulled them early because I was planting, I planted so many in the ground. This year I'm not planting any in the ground, even though I have uh, lots of ground to plant in. I'm just going to use that for uh, corn and peas and probably some, uh, a few potatoes. We just don't need that many onions, so I bought three bunches of onions. And there's, I think there's two different kinds here. The white one, if I understand right, the white one is a Vidalia. My, the, the place where I get my onions, which is a feed store, which is usually a, a great place to buy onion sets. And that's what we call these down here, onion sets. Someone else took the time to grow these onions from seed. They wrap them up in a bundle. You get about 10, 20, 30, maybe 30 or 40. In years past, it has been 50 or more. Uh, inflation has hit the onion business, apparently. But um, these are onion sets. This is the way we typically buy them. I, last year, I think, or year before, I raised some onions from um, seed. It's just a little too much work when I can buy that. They're already grown. That's bigger than my thumb and they're three dollars and fifty cents for about fifty of them now why would i do this in a wicking tub well uh, first of all i just like wicking tubs i like container gardening i'm sitting here on a five gallon bucket so i'm not on my hands and knees sticking holes in the ground and sticking onions in holes so i'm going to come in here with some hoss organic fertilizer it's five four three but i'm just going to scratch it up a little bit this has got some tomato residue, root residue in it from last year. So I'm going to put a full cup of this 543 in here, scratch it in. I don't want it to just sit right on top. But if I was using something besides 543, if I was using triple 13, 10, 10, 10, something like that, I would use less than that. I'd maybe use a quarter of a cup, something like that, because uh, the synthetics especially the high nitrogen synthetics like a triple 13 uh, are hot so i just don't want to take the chance of uh, burning those little seedlings is what they are little onion sets so just scatter, scatter that out all over again that looks like a lot a cup looks like a lot but it's that uh it's that natural fertilizer and it does smell like poop so it's the good stuff. <laughs> Mix it in good. Now, I'm going to plant these about two inches apart. And some of y'all are going to say, good gracious alive, you're not going to get any big onions. Two inches apart is just way too close. And you are correct if, I'm, if I was going to leave these to mature. I want to get some four inch onions, maybe bigger. And if I'm going to get big onions, I've got to have room for them to grow. Two inches apart is not room enough for them to grow. But what I'll do, and I'll, I'll explain a little better in just a minute, but what I'll do is, is as the onions grow and begin to bulb, or even before they start to bulb, I will come in here and um, and relieve the pressure. I'll come in here and, and like a checkerboard, I'll, I'll pull the, uh, this one and then, then skip one and pull this one and whatever, and go have that with our dinner. So as the other ones begin to grow, they've got room to grow then. They won't have room to grow if I left them at two inches apart, but we're not gonna do that. The outside, just stick a hole. I'll, the only tool you need basically for this is that right there. About two inches, stick a hole pinch it. Let's take a hole, pinch it. This is so pliable, just, you know, so it's, it's, it's potting mix is what it is. It's about two or three years old. Um, this is so pliable that I think I can go a little deeper because, because the soil is just not going to 
restrict the growth of these things at all. So again, what I'll do once they uh, once they begin to grow and once they begin to to bulb a little bit, they may get a you know a quarter size bulb or something like that. It's at that point it's time to pull some of them, not all of them. So what I'll do when when that happens, when I've got these two here that are pretty close together and I want them, they're starting to bubble a little bit and I want them to give them more room, I'll just, or they, these three here, I'll just pull the one out of the middle and let these two have that room to grow. And when I pull it, it will be big enough to eat. It'll be a, a green onion or a bulbed, small bulbed onion. It'll be plenty big enough to eat with a, with a sandwich or with a, lunch or with whatever put in soups the green tops by that time should be uh, developed and you know you can slice those up and put those in your food i'm gonna do like five four or five of these wicking tubs I'm, I'm gonna do them till my onions run out or till my tubs run out let's put it that way and then i'll come back and show you the results and maybe explain a little bit better about why I'm doing it this way and what I'm doing. So here they are planted. I, these are two of the wicking tubs. I've got two more I'll show you in just a second. There's about 50 in those uh, sets. Um, I thought it was less than that, but there were some smaller ones in there. You know, some of the things I read and some of the onion growers I've talked to said, be sure and plant the small ones that they do better than the larger ones. There were some as big as my thumb and I don't know. They they say the smaller ones do better. We'll see. But they look good. Starting to sprinkle. I would water these in at this point. Definitely want to seal uh, the soil around those roots. But we've got rain moving in. If it's not much, then I will come back and water these in. Let me show you the other two and uh, and then explain just a little bit better why I'm doing it this way. So here's the other two tubs, and uh, these tubs, I think last spring, had um, squash in them. But um, why am I doing them in wicking tubs? Well, I'm just getting over COVID. I don't really want to crawl around on the ground and plant a bunch of onions. The bucket that I sat on right there just really made it so nice to plant these. I don't need these wicking tubs. I have like 20, 21 earth boxes. So I've got plenty of containers to grow in and don't need uh, these wicking tubs. Uh, I can pull these out in probably June. Now again, I'll be pulling all the time from, from oh, two or three weeks from now probably when they start to, to get a good green stalk and, and make, a, make a little bit of an onion underground. I'll start pulling them and we'll start eating them. Uh, but as far as the onions that I'm going to keep and store, or the ones I want to get big and store, I'll just, I'll pull, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do like a checkerboard. I'll pull one, three, five, seven, nine, you know, I'll just come in through, through here and, and, and pull some and I'll instruct my wife to do that also, to come in here and pull up the ones that are close. And then the rest of them, uh, I'll let them grow probably uh, if I've got had three bundles, that's 150. I'll probably pull half of them uh, before I let them, you know, really start getting big. And I'll show you how big they get. I'm really, I'm really thinking they're going to do well here and, and get big. But then at that point, I can. That'll be June. At that point, I can put some um, some fall tomatoes in, or fall peppers in, or uh, start some fall something else in these wicking tubs. So they're not going to go unused the rest of the year. They just might not be used for spring planting because I will still have the onions in them. Hope I made myself pretty clear about about removing the onions and pulling, you know, pulling every other one to give room for like every other onion or every third onion to get big. And then so I will have some big onions. Really expecting some good big onions. Uh, the fertilize I use is that Haas uh, Organic. Uh, I've used it on other things in the past. It's really done well. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't know that it's time release, but it's just not a real quick shot. So uh, I kind of like it for that reason. It will. Uh, it should do a great job on these. And then I will go down the, 
the spout with some 20-20-20 in a little while. Now I did water these, uh, made sure the, the, these are wicking tubs, and I made sure the, the bottom uh, reservoir, the water reservoir, was full before I started planting these. This is probably a good time, I know it is in the south, probably uh, a little, maybe a little early in the north, but one good thing about it, if you get a hard freeze and a, a good, really, really hard freeze can kill onions. Uh, you get down to 10, 15 degrees, if there's no covering, like a snow covering or something like that, uh, then you can lose onions. I have, I have lost them before. One good thing about this is, all I gotta do is throw a trash bag over the top of it. If it's gonna get cold tonight, I just throw a trash bag over the top of it, remove it in the morning, and that should, uh, you know, find a 30 gallon trash bag or whatever that would go around a wicking tub, set it down on it, maybe put a couple of clothespins on it to keep it if it's a windy night. That should keep them from freezing and just another reason to plant in containers. You've got just so much more control over it. So I think it's a great way to plant onions uh, if you've got, you know, if you don't need a ton of onions. Again, it's just me and my wife. Normally I give away a lot of onions, but uh, this year I may or may not. I don't know whether I have enough to give away or not. But I will have enough to store. I'll show you later on this year how I store onions. Don't plant real deep. You can plant half inch, three quarters inch deep, now, if you're in this loose, loose soil like this, you can probably go deeper. I did. I went deeper on these than I normally do, but my soil is just hard, hard packed clay. Just get them planted. Make sure they're watered in because they do need to be sealed. That, 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 uh, that root, that onion in the ground with that root on it needs to be sealed. That soil needs to be sealed. Now, I pinched it around it. I, I feel like they're sealed pretty good. But watering, watering really just, just seals, seals it real good. And that's what you want. I just saw an onion right there I didn't plant. You're gonna go in the ground right there. There you go. Pinch it, put it in, pinch it. So I should be getting about 150 onions, which will be plenty for us. And I hope I haven't talked your ear off. I hope I showed you something. I hope you'll try onions in containers. All right, all right, we're gone.